Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of Five Minutes with Mike. And buckle your seats because <laughs> I'm going to go in on Mr. Jason Whitlock. And the title of today's episode is Jason Whitlock Needs a Job. He talks about the three people every week. You've guessed it if you ever watch his show, Deion Sanders, Stephen A. Smith, and Shannon Sharp. This is Five Minutes with Mike, our news, our voice, and our opinion with your host, Michael Beckford. Now stop, listen, and pay attention for Five Minutes with Mike. When it comes down to a loud mouth and majoring in grievance policies, Donald Trump is not the only character that specializes in this. Jason freaking Whitlock. Jason freaking Whitlock. <laughs> has made his whole YouTube channel, which is amply titled Fearless, which I like to dub Fearful. He made his whole YouTube channel all about three people he has grievances with. I watch a bit of his episode, so I know firsthand that he is always talking about Deion Sanders. He has issues with Stephen A. Smith and gripes about Shannon Sharp. And Five Minutes Mike is sponsored by The Sex Tool, Volume 2, a short story by Michael D. Beckford, which is coming soon to Amazon and wherever you read your books. Now, let's get back into the episode. Number one, Jason freaking Whitlock <laughs> needs a damn, he needs a real job. And no, I'm not talking about the kind that's constantly slanders and slings primetime coach Deion Sanders name. And no, I'm not talking about a job that actually has Jason Whitlock. I'm, but I'm talking about a job that actually, actually has Jason Whitlock talking about sports for a change. Or maybe he should join the Christian Broadcast Network since he pumps Christianity out like Lil Pump pumps out rap music. Exactly my thoughts. Who the hell is Lil Pump? And since when did Jason Whitlock become this super uber conservative Christian? Number two. Not a week goes by that Jason Whitlock, for which Stephen A. Smith called him a big fat you-know-what <laughs> in one of Stephen's podcast episodes after Jason Whitlock personally came after him in regards to what Whitlock describes as false information to Stephen A. Smith's New York Times bestselling book. Now, I'm no big fan of Stephen A. Smith. I think he's allowed to, I think he's a loud mouth as well. And, and of course, he's allowed to, to, to do what he got to do to get his ratings but at the end of the day, Jason Whitlock is just overboard with the amount of insults, the amount of gravity that he puts towards these episodes. But hey, I have a YouTube channel too. So if that's what he feels is his winning formula to go after these three main individuals, then hey, I guess that's his winning formula. Is it a real job? I don't think so. Number three, a lot of times when Jason Whitlock talks about Shannon Sharp, he usually phrases it with, phrases it with well, I like what the guy is doing at the club, at, at Club Chase Shay Shay, <coughs> and a nightcap, and all that good stuff. But then he starts going on tangents and basically throwing dirt on Shannon's name, saying something about Shannon Sharp pretending to be Malcolm X of the media, and just goes on these dang on rants. Like I said, Jason Whitlock is just pretty much off the rails, and he directs his his ire towards the same dang on three people. And, um, and it, uh, also in regards to this particular fact, you know, Shannon Sharp may be the only one on the planet that I believe, uh, kind of gets on the minds of Jason Whitlock because of all the success that of course, Shannon has had with club Shay Shay and nightcap. And according to a recent one-on-one -on -one conversation that Jason Whitlock had with Christian rapper D one, Whitlock says he goes hard on Coach Prime because of the fact that Coach Prime's confession of Christianity and putting up Christian quotes on Twitter. Mm. Whatever Jason Whitlock's excuse for going so hard after these three black men, maybe, just maybe, he needs to just shut up and talk about sports again. Now, let's take him to church. Your enemy is your enemy of my friend. Jason Whitlock is playing a dangerous game of whack-a-mole. How many times can you talk about a person before that person has to respond back to him? The only problem is sometimes this type of vitriol that you have for an individual goes off the online airwaves and into the streets. The sex tool volume... Sex can be used as a powerful tool 
an even more powerful weapon. Welcome to the city of Atlanta, where the lights are bright, the scams are steady, and sex is the ultimate drug of choice. The Sex Tour, Volume 2, a novella by Michael D. Beckford, coming soon to ebook, paperback, and audio. Volume 1 of The Sex Tour is available now wherever books are sold. Volume 2, a short story by Michael D. Beckford, is coming soon to Amazon or wherever you read your books. Please like and hit that subscribe button. Five Minutes Mike is written, produced, and directed by Michael D. Beckford, all rights reserved, copyright 2024 by the Speak Pubs International and the Michael Beckford Media Group, LSE Production. Thank you guys for listening and watching. I appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure YouTube know that you like this particular content, and your subscription is always free.